Hey. Hey, welcome to Never Dull Moment. I'm excited to share a, a, a sharpening tip that has been come to my attention uh, very recently. It's very enlightening uh, and eye-opening for myself. And I thought it pertinent to go ahead and get this information to you as soon as possible. Recently, I've had the opportunity to sharpen a knife that I've never sharpened before on a steel that I've never sharpened before. This is the Spyderco Team Mule um, Magna Cut. If you're familiar with Magna Cut, this is, um, this is the brainchild of Laren, who is uh, the guy from Knife Steel Nerds. You know, he is the metallurgist who just decided to make his own metal, and he is everything when it comes to steel. And this particular steel is able to be sharpened like carbon, but it has a stainless quality. And I've already spent too much time learning about how this steel works and everything. But it's a hard steel. It is, it is something you can sharpen. Um, but it was sent to me completely dull. Uh, it had been put on a machine and flattened. It was a flat grind. It had like zero ability to cut air. <laughs> um, and it was, it was uh, amazingly like it was flatter than a butter knife. Um, so I, what I want to do is my wife's going to get a close up. I, I really want to show you the the quality of the bevel put on the knife. Okay, so the goal is to just see where there's a shiny edge. Yeah, I was showing that earlier. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And I'm gonna show the other side. So you can just see this is done by hand, consistent from the bottom to the top. It's <clears throat> a lighting thing, honey. It's, it's hard to get, I apologize also a lighting issue okay do you need to take it somewhere else and no, just walk give around? me one second yeah. bear with me guys folks there we go yeah we're trying not to say the word guys anymore because what we understand we do have some hardcore religious uh thank you for coming every week women who uh some of the guys have have got their their wives sitting down with them every week and i'm always glad to hear about that especially in the forums and in the comments um so you see a whole lot of stuff going on here we have naniwa diamond 1000 uh, my buddy hans plog over in germany uh we got the cbn stones we have a 200 and 400 cbn cubic boron nitride the second hardest substance over here we've got uh, 800, 1200, and then looking around at the normal ceramic stones, I've got the nano home stuff out. We've got a 100 micron, which is like a 100 grit diamond plate. We've got the one, the 400, the 1000, the 3000, the 6000, and the 10,000. All of this so we can <laughs> sharpen this knife. <clears throat> I even forgot to get something out. Uh, I don't know if I have it handy just yet. I don't really see it right now. But without even being able to get it out right now, you'll know what it is. It is the Atoma. I think it was the 400 that I have out. It might still be in the box. What is, it, what is it that I'm trying to share with you? So, you know, I went through the process of sharpening this knife. And I got a burr. And so for those of you who are not... I mean, if you're watching this video, you're probably a knife nerd and you're probably very proficient at sharpening. And if you're kind of new to sharpening and you're, you decided to listen to this video, let understand that when I take the time to rub this knife on a stone or even a spinning wheel or a belt sander, metal as it's grinding off will start to lay off the edge and it will just fray off of the edge. And you can take your finger and, and rub it, and it should stick upright. So literally the metal should like almost curve up. And when you take your thumb on the flat, you should feel a lip of metal that's just sticking up. Okay? So let me describe like what that would look like visually. If you had some denim pants on and you wear some jeans, your favorite jeans, and you walk around all the time and their jeans kind of overhang on your feet and you scrub them on the asphalt, you have tassels. And so a burr is the equivalent of metal tassels coming off of the edge because you've been sharpening the knife. 
So if you look at the title of this video, you got a burr. So what? What does that mean? Well, I got a burr. It took a minute. <laughs> it took a minute leaving ceramic stones and going to diamond stones, CBN stones. And uh, so the first time I sharpened this knife, I got this beautiful polished edge, 10,000 grit polish. Um, I even got the gunny juice strops out. I mean, I have like one micron, 0.5 micron, you know, everything going. Looked amazing. So I got a burr on one side of the knife. I flipped it over, sharpened the other side of the knife, and I went from stone to stone, doing what I've done on every other knife before. And it's beautiful. I was so excited to get the best tester out and see what I've done. And it scored absolutely some stupid number in the 400s or something like that. Like, I mean, it was not sharp. How is this possible? I mean, I'm a great knife sharpener and I've gotten scores as low as 15. So what had happened was this like excruciatingly dull knife, as I scraped metal, metal stuck, stuck off the edge. And I mistook that for being done. And um, I think all of us have gotten very like kind of sedentary and kind of used to that effect. I'm used to knives coming to me sharp and they need to be resharpened. So they had an edge that it just kind of lost the edge. I'm not used to like taking a butter knife and making an That's edge. I mean, it was a piece <laughs> yeah. of metal. It wasn't even, wasn't even a knife when I got it. And um, so, you know, I was frustrated because is it the type of steel? I mean, it's hard to steal, but, but no, I had failed. And so I called an expert, Scott Gunn. I was asking about his product stuff. And he goes, you're probably gonna have to sharpen that knife two or three times. Well, that's kind of odd to hear. Two or three times? So definitely went ahead and go, went to a low grit. I mean, I, I did the, the 100 micron, 100 grit, and then I jumped up to the 1,000 diamond. Because I'm like, let's take out metal. And all of a sudden, I realized that the sharpness of the knife really should be set with the first stone. And what Scott and I were talking about was that the apex of the knife, like I had metal that was round and I shaved some metal and I felt the burr. I mean, the burr was sticking off, but I had not, I had not like formed, you know, just this extremely just beautiful apex. I assumed that having such a prominent burr on each side meant that I had done my job. And we have now done this knife twice. And I can tell you it's sharp now. But it's still nowhere near as sharp as the capabilities of this knife. Which means not on camera today, but I'm going to be doing this knife for the very third time. <laughs> and I'm going to do all of it. Okay? Now I knew when I sharpened it the second time that it was, I mean, I put my fingers on the edge and it was sharp. I actually thought like I was already there, like I wasn't going to need number three. And having had sharper knives, um, once I went through the progression, you know, and went through everything and then the, the 0.5 micron and I saw that the knife was sharp and I could cut a paper towel. Yeah, it, it's, it's over 100, 115, 118. It's not where I want it to be. I would like this knife. This knife has the hardness and the capability with the, the, the knowledge and the equipment to take an edge that should hold a 50, probably below, okay? So with that being said, this knife tip today for you is you sharpen, not you sharpen beyond the burr. This is one of the few times, like we did a test and I'll put a video above where we went, we went ahead and deburred after every stone I challenge you to get the burr on one side and then get the burr on the other side. Go ahead and take the burr off and then feel the edge. And if it's not sharp right then, you're not done on that stone. Okay, the other stones are designed to refine the edge and the apex that you've created. So now I'm gonna quote something. I cannot tell you who the person is because I don't remember their name. They were a knife maker. I, I was with them in, in a classroom at Blade Show two years ago. And if um, Big Brown Bear is watching, Sean, uh, he and I met, we were in that class together. But this has always stuck with me. If we had a piece of glass that was broken 
and there were shards of glass laying down, every one of us would be afraid to pick it up. Chances are that the glass's angle is as much as like 90 degrees, but yet it's so sharp. Why? The grain structure of the knife, the sand melted, has the ability at such a fine molecular level that even at 90 degrees, the edge, the apex is so acutely perfect that it has the ability to cut so easily. And we are not refining this edge enough. We are not getting the apex that we need on the first stones. We're feeling the burr, we're assuming that we've done work, we're going through the process and we're frustrated. And I think for a lot of you who contact me about your frustrations, this is where it lies. The work was not done on the first stone. Knife polishers will tell you this as well. The work is done on the first stone and then the other stones just kind of finish the work. So I'm going to continue. I've already put out, um, I put out in the forums, you know, a video. I'll just add it to this. I mean, but you've already seen it. It was, I was so proud, you know, <laughs> of the edge that I put on it. So polished, so even by hand. And it cut nothing. I mean, I could use it to literally cut butter and that was it. And now I can use it to do a day's work. But the, 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 the grain structure, the heat treat, the molecular structure of this knife allows this knife to take an edge that I have yet to achieve. So I look forward to the exploration of the potential of this knife. I look forward to once again sharpening this knife. I will publish the results in a reel or a short or you know an Instagram reel um, and let you guys see that we've finally gotten it there. Now we'll return the knife to its owner very proudly. Um, but I really wanted to share this with you because I think a lot of you are frustrated because you've done a lot of work and you got nowhere. So the work is done on the first stone. Uh, I hope that this helps you grow. I have grown as a result of the experience with this knife. I look forward to sharing my results as I continue to get better. And I look forward to seeing you some at Blade Show if you're going. We will be uh, re meeting a lot of vendors and recording a lot of stuff that weekend. And we're going to not put anything really out until that weekend you know come back and, and flood you guys with some stuff so thank you for supporting us friday nights at eight o'clock um i do want to ask you i'm definitely asking a lot of you guys view the channel you don't subscribe it helps us it helps the algorithm please hit the subscribe button please hit the notifications button it would be tremendously helpful to us in supporting our channel and uh thank you for all your comments believe it or not that's the currency that really keeps this going i get to read them more than my wife and it and we've gotten a lot of really nice words recently that have been really great thank you so much god bless you all for supporting us we're out